Here are the enhancements for CamWorks 2019 toolpath editing. Edit Toolpath options have now been moved to the SolidWorks Property Manager. The interface has been updated to allow for a continuous playback of the toolpath with speed and position sliders. In addition, display options have been added to better view the tool, holder, endpoints, and tool vectors. We can also control the number of toolpath entities displayed graphically. The toolpath apt data is displayed in this window and can be selected for editing purposes. The selection options are available to help select and edit toolpath records. The pick or window option allows us to either select a single entity or window select a group of entities. Here we have some extra toolpath that has been generated as part of the volume mill operation. We can first window select these toolpath entities and delete the toolpath. This box shows us information about the entities that will be deleted. We also can control how the toolpath links between the gaps that are left from the deleted toolpath. For this example, I will select retract to rapid. Notice how the rapid moves to and from the toolpath are also deleted. Undo will bring back the toolpath that I deleted. The Between Two Rapid Moves option will select the toolpath records between two rapid moves. If I need to delete only one of these passes, I can use this option. The Sketch option allows us to use a closed SolidWorks sketch to select the toolpath to edit. Any sketch on any plane can be used. The toolpath entities within the bounding area normal to the SolidWorks sketch plane will be selected. On this rough mill operation, part of the cavity is too deep for the tool. I can use this sketch to select the portion of the generated toolpath that needs to be deleted. I can also use predefined sketches to further clean up the toolpath. Here, I will use the direct link option for the gaps. We also have options to clear the selected toolpath records and invert the selected toolpath records. Using the Enhanced Toolpath Edit, we can manually edit the generated toolpath. On this operation, I want to move the start point of this toolpath. I can do this by selecting on the apt record displayed in this window and clicking on the Edit button. For this example, I will change the X value for these first few moves. When I accept these changes, I am prompted to lock the toolpath. I can also insert new toolpath records to a generated toolpath. In this case, I will add a rapid move to the start of this operation. 